Shalom all my people. Hey, shalom. On. Hey, this is a nice day. We can't help nobody enjoy this day. Well, first, before I go to anything, I'd like to, I'd like to say this prayer. I'd like to start saying this prayer before I, before I start off. Shalom all my people. Hey, this this is about stuff they don't teach us in the Bible. I know, I know we get out every day. You go to church on Sunday, you know, they give you that regular regular teaching which don't stimulate the mind. See, our mind has to be stimulated. And it don't stimulate the mind. It just give us a little basic. And you go home, they holler, cry, go home. But just here to stimulate the mind. Just get you to think before you can feel, you can navigate through this world before you can, you can see who you really are. First, you got to know who you really are in this world. Because if you don't, how can you survive if you don't know who you are? How can you go in a father if you don't know who you are? It's just like a, a, a hey, you this analogy, but it's just like a, a, a foster kid looking for his father. You feel empty. You should feel empty because you get because you're missing something. Well, I'm here to give you what you're missing. Check this out. I'm here to give you what you're missing. Check this out. First, I'm gonna get this prayer. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from which cometh my help. This Psalms 121. My help comes from the Lord. Which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is, is thou shade upon their right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in for this time forth and even forevermore. See, this, 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 this is a prayer that you sing about Israel. He, he, I was trying to hold back talking about Israel. But we got to know who Israel is. Because we don't know where Israel is, we don't know where we're going. First, I got the name of the thing is called, uh, 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 um, it's about Esau. The identity of Esau in the fall of Esau. The identity of Esau in the fall of Esau. First, what I want to do is tell you who Esau is. See, I have a book right here. It's a Bible dictionary. I told you, you got to use all your tools. Everything you can use, you got to use all your tools. First, I want to go to Esau and, and, and let you know who Esau lives. Let me find Esau in this book. And then you then see, you got to you got to know who your characters is in the Bible. So when you read it, you understand. But if they don't tell you who it is, how you going to know? How you going to know who Esau is if they don't tell you? So you be reading the Bible, you just reading anything because they ain't tell you who he is. Let me tell you who Esau is. Esau, the elder son of Isaac and Rebekah. The elder son of Isaac and Rebekah. Esau is a so-called white man. But I'm going to get to you and, and, and describe what color he is, what it looks like. So when you start, when you look around, you can see who he is. Esau. I already told you, he's the, he's the oldest son of Isaac and Bethel. Because you got to remember, he had Esau and Jacob. Esau is the so-called Edomite. Edomite, Jacob is, is Israel. Us. The 12 tribes of Israel. This is Jacob. You know, I, I done told you how Jacob became Israel. We fought with the angels and the, and the Lord changed his name to Israel. Okay. This is well, this is uh, uh, Esau. Okay, this is how it goes. Esau is Edom, which is the Edomite. Esau, then you got the you got the uh, 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 the the father, you got the, the the nation, which is the his descendants, which is Edom, which is the Edomites. Here you go, means red or ruby. Isaac, oldest son. Remember, I went to, remember I read about uh, uh, Isaac, oldest son. Okay, means red and ruby. Who is red and ruby? Who is red and ruby? In the south, where we at, we call them rednecks. That's the so-called Edomites. So now you know who Esau and the Edomites are. See, but this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to in your Bible. So I'm trying to break it down for you can know who we are, for you know who you're dealing with. 
you got to know who you're dealing with before you can know, know who you are. Because if you don't know who you're dealing with, then you're lost. How can you go, go to 2 King? 2 King 8. 20. 8, 20. Check this out. This is how you know who they are now. We used to rule over Esau. We Jacob now. Remember, we Jacob. We the Israelites. I don't have to go through all that no more to tell you, but we know now who we are. Okay, we used to rule them now. I'm trying to tell you. We used to rule over them before we, we disobeyed the law of the commandments. Check this out. In his day, Edom, I already told you, we already recognize who Edom is, okay? We revolted from under the land of Judah, us, and made kings over themselves. They, showed, they, they revolted, they mean they left our authority. They hauled tail because they got tired of being up under. They hauled tail and, 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 and left, okay? Check this out. Joram went over to Zaire. And all the chariots with him, he rose by night and smote the Edomites, which compressed him about. And the captives of the chariots and the people flee into their tent. Yet Edom revolt from under the hand of Judah unto this day. They gone unto this day. They left unto this day upon our rulership. Reason why they was able to do that? Because we disobeyed the law, statutes, and commandments. You never heard, you, they don't teach you that in the Bible. But I'm teaching you this, this stuff you need to know to edify your heart for you can understand what's going on. Edom has revolted from my authority. I, this, I, I just read that in King James verse 6 to 11. Now I'm going to you another Bible, give you a little bit more, uh, it, 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 it breaks the word down the for you can better understand. Now check this out. You remember what I do. I'm, I'm going to read the same scripture, but this is what they say now. In his day, Edom revolt against Judah. Authority. They changed its authority. We was over them. Revolt me, they left. We don't revolt me authority. We, they was up on our authority ship. We ruled them. We ruled them. But we disobeyed the law, statute, commandments. That's why they were over us right now today. Because what we done. We used to rule over them, but they revolt from our authority. Go ahead and say. As this time. Right now. Right now today, they, they done left our leadership because we disobeyed the law of the commandment. Now they over us. But this is their fate, though. They over us right now, but this is their fate. Go to Obadiah. Obadiah 1 and 9. 1, 9. See, we used to rule Esau. Esau is ruby and red, so you ain't no doubt you know who they are. He just described it to you. Ain't no doubt you know who they are. Okay. Nine, eight, nine, and ten. Shall I not in that day, says the Lord, even the wise men of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of Esau, and their mighty men, O Tamarin, shall be dismayed. To the end that every one of Mount, every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. We gonna come back and destroy them later on. All this is hadn't came to point yet. That's why they're killing you right now, people. Because they know this. They know we used to rule them. And they, they and they left up in our roots and they know we disobeyed the law of the commandment. Now we they slave. Now we up under them. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall come to thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Because what they did to us. Because the violence, they still doing the violence now. They still shooting us every day. I'm trying to let you see what's going on. I'm breaking it down to you. They've been violent against us since the beginning. In Genesis 27, when he said, The days of our father at the morning, and I shall surely kill you, Jacob. So they've been at us ever since. Ever since they've been a, see, this is their fate. This is what's going to happen to them. Now that I have to establish who they are, I, 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 I got to read it again. I'm going to establish it to you again. Here you go. Edom. Edomite. Means red or rooted. What color is that? That's the so-called white man of today. You can't get around it. You can't get around it. Check this out. Now, this is how you really going to 
I'm, I'm just giving you more evidence of who they are. I'm giving you more evidence. Go to Genesis 36. 8. This is more evidence of who. Check this out. Now you check this out right here. 8. That dwell Esau and Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. I, I, hey, the Bible don't lie, and I'm breaking it down using Bible dictionary. I'm using other translators to get the point across to you. This is why they shoot you in the street now. This is why they stopping you for going too slow. This is why your gun, your your, your phone like a gun. This is why they tasing you when your hand up because this is they have revolted against us. And the Lord said that we disobeyed the law said commandment, so they rule over us. But this is their fate in the future. And these are the generation of Esau, the father of Edomite in Mount Zero. Mount Zero is in Georgia, Russia. They was in Europe in the mountains. That's why they got that long hair like animals. That's why they smell. You done been around. I ain't making this up. You know I'm not making this up. This is not a hate speech. This is knowledge. You know when they get wet, what they smell like because they lived in the cave with the animals and everything. They slept with the animals. That's why they got DNA. That's why they got the DNA of a wolf, canine, because of that situation right there. That's why some are look it up on your phone. Some are born with tails. If you ever seen that movie called Shallow, that's when Jack Black he seen that woman. Every time he seen her, she was fine, but in reality she wore about six hundred pounds. You remember that movie? And then the guy who played in sound fed had a little tail. They tried to tell you in the movie, but you can look it up. Check this out. I want you to hear what I just said. Dust dweller Esau and Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. I, I don't went and explained that to you. Okay? And these are the generation, the father of the Edomites. Edomites. Okay, check this out. Check this out. They, <laughs> they were the dukes, the son of Esau. Who was the dukes? In Britain, in England, the Duke of this, the Duke of that, the Duke, they were the Dukes. Oh, man, people shout this come together. Because this never been broken down to you in church like they are the Dukes, man. I'm trying to tell you, this is who they are. They were the Dukes, the son of Esau. I don't know how plain enough to get it. They were the Dukes. The Duke of York. The dukes in, 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 in Europe. Come on, people. I'm just trying to give it to you straight. Esau hated Jacob. Check this out. He hated us. Go to Genesis 27, 41. Then Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, the day of mourning of my father or at a hand, then I will slay my brother Jacob. Check this out. And these were the words of Esau, the elder son of Rebekah. I just, I just showed you Isaac and Rebekah, them the older son. Them are the two kids. That's the two nations. Esau is ruby and red. That describes him. Jacob is a black man. They didn't have to describe him because he's already like everybody else. Oh, man, people are trying to tell you something. Now. I'm just showing you. He hated us because of the blessing. Go to Job and you tell him this don't fit Esau. I'm just breaking it down for you to know who you deal with. This is why you're going. This is why Jacob doing. This is why Esau is doing the way he's doing. Go to uh, Job 9, 24. 9, 24. Check this out. This is all this lined up. You can't say this don't line up. All this line up. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who is the hand of the wicked? This is uh, Job 9, 24. Who is the hand of the wicked? Donald Trump administration. Ronald Reagan administration. Ford. Nixon. All the administration, they were the hand of the wicked. And whether you want to believe it or not, Barack Obama is not your president. He was an African. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. The world was given to the hand of the wicked people. 
It's hard for you to understand because you're not used to this direct teaching. You're not used to this direct teaching. The Lord said they, they, they time coming though. They're not going to ring forever. We just got to get back to the law, statute, and commandments. That's what we got to get back to. You wonder why we're still in the same situation? 110. Go to get uh, Elvadiah 110. For thy vows against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. That's what I'm saying. Because what they're doing to us, they're going to be cut off forever. When the Lord come back and take us home, they will be cut off forever. It will never be any more Esau. But they, they're going to teach you it in church. You think this God loves and see, how he, see what he's doing? This Lord coming back with vengeance. Obadiah 118. Just go down a couple of uh, 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 scriptures. And the house of Jacob shall be free. No, the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph. The house of Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob is uh, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, and, and it says Jerusalem. Jerusalem is Seminar, Zabalon, Ephraim, Massa, Glad, Reuben, Naphtali, Ashla, Issachar. That is Jerusalem. We make up the three, and they make up the nine. That's twelve. You know, that's why he said that uh, 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 in the house of Jacob, which is us, the, the so-called Negroes, and then. The Joseph is the other is, is like the, uh, the Latinos and the Native American Indians. In the house of Esau shall be stubble. We fire and they stubble. You know what stubble is? Stubble is when you have a fire and you got the little stubbles. We shall, we're gonna get we're gonna get revenge on them for what they're doing to us right now. That's why you gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And they shall not be any remain of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. That's why I told you it won't be no more after this. When, when this time comes, we're going to rule for a thousand years. They're going to rebuild the earth after the new Luca ball comes. Then the Lord going to get rid of them forever. You'll never have to worry about them ever again. Never ever. This, this is it for them. This is it. And I promise you, they know this. That's why they hunt you down and kill you because they know who you are. They know who all the brown peoples are. They know they know they, they know their future. You don't know it because you ain't studying this Bible. I'm breaking it down and showing it to you, and you probably still won't believe it, but I don't know how to go to the simplest form no more than simple than this. You don't have this, but I told you to get you about your book. You can buy this book with the apocrypha in it. Just the apocrypha by itself. Amazon, by $9. Go to 1 Maccabee. If you got it. If you follow along, go to 1 Michael B. If you got it. If you follow along with me, go to 1 Michael B. 5 and 3. Here you go. Then Judah fought against the children of Esau in Idumia. Because they besieged Israel and had given them a great overthrow in the battle of their courage took their spoil. We fought against them in our double because they besieged them. See, we gonna be it, it, it gonna still we gonna be fighting them again. That's why you people keep telling. I'm gonna read again. Judah fought against the children of Esau. You know who that is. You know who Judah is. So I, I, I don't know how to tell you. They we we gonna be fighting them then. We fought them back then. We are gonna be fighting them now. That's why you right now you fighting them every day now. You fighting them every day now. You ain't no getting around that. You fighting them every day. Every day a black man step out of that house, we got to wonder if we going to make it back home. One of you driving too slow. Let if you ain't turn your blankets on within 100 feet. They ain't looking at us because they know who we are. We don't know who we are. They know that their time is at the end. And we don't even know who we are. But they do. Michael B. 348. Maccabee 3, 4, 8. Maccabee chapter 3, verse 48. This is what the Lord said he did. And laid over the book of the law, the Old Testament, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of the image. They painted everybody looking like them. Ruby and red. How come we no black people in the Bible? How come we God love everybody? Why ain't no black people in the Bible? Why everybody ruby and red? Because it's a lie. 
Because they painted the faces of the judges, therefore they can look just like the judges. They painted everybody look like them. All the prophets look like them. But the truth coming out now. And this is no, you can't deny this. I'm giving you scripture from scripture. You can, you can go back and look and you can verify. The earth, I already told you, Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. I told you that. So we know that part. And God, I, always, I, I like this from him. You should all them the people back in the past. Those people don't exist no more. Them people don't exist no more, man. What you talking about? How you going to talk about something that happened way back in the biblical days? Ain't no Esau, ain't no Judah no more. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh, it ain't. It ain't. Let me show you where it is. There's no end to all the people. Even all that have been before thee, them that also come after. Huh? This is clear after 416. <laughs> what, what you going to say now? What you going to say now? You just told me that them ain't no more of them people. The Bible just told you, hey, the, there's no end to all the people, even all that have been before them, they should all that come after. Huh? The Lord say no end. The one before the end, the one that come out, ain't no end. So what you going to say now? What you going to say now? You got to believe this word now because it, it, it backs it up. There's no end to it. Check it out. You don't have this here. Check, oh, check this out. Check this out, people. Check this out. You don't have it, but I told you get your get your thing in second uh uh second Ezra. Second Ezra, check this out what it says in second Ezra. Six and nine. Check this out. Check this out. Second Ezra six and nine. Check this out. For Esau is the end of the world. We already discovered Esau is red and Reuben. So you know who red and Reuben, so we ain't gotta go no further with that. And you know Esau is, is the dukes, you know, they, 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 they relative is the duke, their bloodline is the dukes. That's all the people you know about in, in Europe over there. Duke of this, Duke of Earl, Duke of that, that's them. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that to follow. When this world ends, we coming up. That's why you see them guys got on this shirt, we got next. We waking up. A few of us are waking up. And that's why they killing because this word getting out. This word getting out and people realize who they are and what's going on now. They waking up to the truth. So this is this and we know now. So there ain't no denying it right now. So you got to, you 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 either holding yourself to a blind eye where you just don't want to know. I, I really can't determine why you don't want to know. But I'm just giving you scripture from scripture, line upon line, precept upon precept, and you can't deny the truth. Remember I told you about Africa? I told you about Africa. I told you they wasn't us. Go to Joel 3 and 3. Obama is an African. His father's an African. Lord say they have no dealing with us. That's why nobody came to save us. If they loved us so much, why they ain't send their army here to say, if you kill one more of my people, we know something. And this gonna hurt your heart. Why Nelson Mandela? When you president said, if you kill another one of my people, I'm going to come down here with my army. I'm going to put sanctions on you where you can't come dig my gold, my copper, my zinc. Why ain't nobody ever did that for us? Why ain't nobody coming to our rescue? Because God said, all the other nations that come after you, I'm going to destroy the mother nation. I'm going to get you. I want to get you real quick. Here you go. Here you go. Check this out. And they have cast a lot for my people. And have given a boy for a holly. They raped us, man. They sold us for they sold us a lot. Thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, get your boy, fifty, sixty dollars, get you a fine young man. Get you, they raped us, man. The same thing they do in the NFL. How tall are you? How big is it? How fast are you? They sold us. They cast lot for us. And check out what they did to our women. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. They get our women and get them drunk. And wine not only mean liquor, it means they, they gave them that false doctrine. Because they get our women, the women could go, 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 go take that to a height and destroy the man. They give the women the jobs. And the man can't have a job. But then our women look down on us. And you can't tell me it ain't happening because you see it every day. You see it every day. Check this out. Check this out. Ye! What have Ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane. That's Africa. That's Africa, people. That's Africa. The Lord said this in Joel. 
That's Africa who sold you. Huh? You didn't heard it. How you think you got over here to the North America? If you was in Africa, how did they... If you was in Africa, you want to say you're Africa? Oh, yeah, I'm African. I'm Africa. If you want to claim to be African, you was over there. Who sold you then? Who sold you if you said you were African and you was over there in Africa? The white people came on the ship. So how did you get on them ships with, and, and torture? You sold yourself? No, people... Africans weren't selling Africans. Africans were selling Israelites. Come on here, people. You better learn this Bible or you're going to die. Check this out what the Lord said about Africa. Y'all think the Lord playing. You think the Lord, y'all think the Lord is a loving God. Yeah, he loved, but you better follow the rules, chapter commandments. You better understand this Bible. I'm going to tell you what he said about them Africans. Them Africans in your stores right now treating you like dogs. The Africans in your store, China, but guess what? They getting paid by now because the Chinamen over there taking over their land. The Chinamen taking over their land because what they did to us. In it, I'm going to show you. I, I got it right here. I'm going to show you what the Lord said about everybody who did something to us. Zephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians, all shall shall be slain by my sword. What? what, 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 what I never heard that. Zephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword because what they done to us. They was the Imam, they was the Egyptian. They the one had us in slavery for 430 some years. They the one beat our backs in. And then when we migrated over there in 70 AD, running from the Roman prosecution, they were mad because we took our culture with us because we were we were we was building Timbuktu while they were still trying to figure shit out. And guess what they said? So the white man came over there, they sold, they cast lot for us, they sold our women. West Coast of Africa, Senegal, Kenya, them our people that migrated over there. We migrated and mixed in because we looked just like them. But they knew who we were. Lord, please open up their eyes so they can understand. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, Moab ain't got away with it either. Zephaniah 2 and 8. 2 and Moab. Moab and Zephaniah. And Moab ain't got. Check this out. And I heard the reproach of Moab. And the revealing of the children of Amos. Them the Chinese and Japanese. Do what the Lord said about them. Whereby they have reproached my people. The Israelites. And they magnified themselves against their border. They came on our border and tried to take us over. Check this out. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be like Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? He burnt them up to the ground when they only, uh, 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 Lot came out and Lot's two daughters came out. His wife came but turned back because she was part of it. You done read the story about it. Lord, he going to destroy them the way they destroyed them. That's why them Chinese and Japanese getting paid for what they're doing now. That's why they dying the way they dying now. People, y'all about to read this Bible? You about to wake your butt up and read this Bible and start letting the people tell you a lie? Warn into to warm into warm into the uh, Ammonites. And that's just uh, the Japanese. Tell you that, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 49.1. 49.1. Check this out. Gather yourself together. You gather yourself together, old nation not desired. We not desire. We not desire to gather yourself together because we not desired of them. They don't care nothing about us. Concern the Ammonite. Thus saith the Lord, has Israel no son? Has no, no heir? Why then thou the king inherit God? And his people dwell in his city. The Ammonites, why they dwell in our city? We don't have no heritage. Our heritage is the Lord Jesus Christ. Why they come over here and take us over? Why they in our neighborhood? They in our neighborhood destroying us. Like as, as they destroying our neighborhood. They destroying our neighborhoods. They come over here and they send that half to our women, making our women hell go ball. They're doing their fingernails, making it getting gang green. Whew. Give me 2 Thessalonians. This is almost sickening. This is the truth coming out of your sin. Nobody want to see it. 1 and 6. 
1 and 6. 2 Thessalonians. See, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense the tribulation to them that trouble you, Israelites, and to you who are troubled, rest. Rest. Rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed, when you come out of that sky, for heaven with his almighty angels, a flaming fire. This is a loving God, but he come out with a flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and to, that obey not the gospel or our Lord Jesus Christ who, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord for the glory of his power. They did us wrong. And God coming back, he's going to crack that scribe. Anybody who did the Israelites wrong, you're going to pay. You're going to pay for what you did to us. You're going to pay what you did. Second, I said, now I told you, the world is Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning. Second, Arrow is the nine, six and nine. Yeah, and I read you about they cast lot for us. They cast lot for us. They destroyed us. They sold us. The Africans did. But people, you got to learn this. Get your Bible dictionary. I ain't lying to you. I just gave you what they were. I just described who Edom was. I told you they the Dutch. I described the Africans. I described uh, 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 Ammon. I described uh, 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 Moabites. All this is truth. All this is truth. Go back, mess like, and subscribe for you can learn the information. Because, see, this kind of stuff lets you know what you can see it happen in the world. You can see them people doing us in any kind of way. But it's in the Bible. You can see who eat a meal. You can see what's going on. They know who we are, people. I'm trying to tell you. They know who you are, and they're going to kill us until the Lord come back. They're going to prosecute us. And the only way we got hope is that we go back to the law of the commandment. Martin Luther King can't save you. He didn't. Malcolm X couldn't save you. He didn't. Thurgood Marshall couldn't save you. He didn't. Uh, Million Man March. Uh, 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 Farrakhan couldn't save you. He didn't. See what I'm saying? Mike, uh, Mega Evan couldn't save you. Nobody can save us but this word. Until we come back to the word of God, that's the only way we're going to be saved. If y'all tried all them, why you won't try God? I'm just saying. I'm giving you scripture upon scripture and line upon line, and it tell you who these people is. How you going to defend yourself if you don't know who you fighting? I beg of you people, please study this Bible. I'm helping you by giving you the, the scriptures. Shalom, my people. Shalom. Lord, have mercy on our soul, and I pray that we get this and have mercy before we can, before we can defend ourselves. Guns ain't going to save us, people. We don't have enough technology on our own to do anything, enough power. And, we, and we're not together. It said, gather yourself together, oh, gather yourself. We're not together. It's going to take the most high to come out here to gather his people together, and he's going to have to fight that battle for us. That's why he said when he crack over that sky, they're going to see who he is, and he's going to punish them people for doing us wrong. We just got to come back to the Lord's church commandment. Have mercy. Have mercy. Shalom, my people. Shalom. I love you very much. I love you very much.